Looniform guy here, and it, and this is the Fent GTA platform by Creative Mesh on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map, and this is 2.4 megabytes to download. Two slots on console. It is an attachment made specifically for this. This is the tractor. This is the uh, Fent. Let's go into small tractors here. This is the the 380 GTA Turbo that comes with the Farm Kong 24 Fent Pack. So what is that? That is this one right here, the Farm Kong 24 Fent Pack. Comes with a whole bunch of attachments. This uh, so this mod is specifically made to attach to the 380, not the Zylon, just the 380. Although we'll buy the Zylon, but I it says specifically the GTA 380. So that's, that is what we have. Right, so where do you find this attachment? Tools and miscellaneous. And there it is, $3,000 to purchase. 1,100 uh, liter capacity, 350 kilograms. It is a multi-fruit bulk container type uh, deal. <clears throat> However, you can change that to a loading platform. We'll keep it here for a moment. We have a steel plate or a standard, like a wood floor. And the chassis color, we have the green, the blue, or the orange. And those are your options. We also have a license plate option. It says front and rear, although I only see. So, uh, front and back options. Or no plate. Um, I only seen it on the front. But anyways, that's kind of neither really here nor there. Alright, so. Let's attach it. Uh, here we have the uh, yeah I'll show you how to attach it first with the 380 let's turn around here we will attach the loading platform first to show you how that all works Ooh, come on straighten up all right so you just drive up to the back of it attach it like so and it will settle down into its operating position like so. So what do we have here? R1 and R3. We have tension belts. And uh, that's it. That's all you can do in this configuration. So to undetach uh, it, just press the X without any, any other buttons. Just X by itself. And there we go. All right, we'll go and attach the other um, box and then we'll grab that uh, grab the other the other tractor and just try it out on the flat bed <clears throat> all right so there we go so let's just quickly just double check that uh, it doesn't attach to this may or may not I don't think it will because it wasn't specifically mentioned but here we go anyways and no tools not compatible so there we go there's your answer definitively all right <clears throat> so we have the box attached uh turning radius on these tractors are hard. and yeah all right what can we fill it with literally whoops <laughs> literally everything so we got everything we can put in there. Let's put in there, um, I don't know, iron ore just because I have the platinum expansion DLC loaded. So what are our, uh, what are our options? We can unload here. I don't want to do that right now. We have tip side front and that's it when you have something in it. We'll show you another option in a moment. So we just drive up to uh, wherever you want to dump it, say a cell point, and it tips out and dumps out like that. Nice and quick, just like so. All right, R1, tip side front, tip side manual. What does that mean? Well, when you pick that, L1 and triangle gives you the option to open the door. So now you can manually just put whatever you want in there. Uh, use it like a platform, but it doesn't have any 
its traps so then you can close the door again now what happens if you have the door open and you want to fill it with something well I will show you it will still allow you to fill it with something let's put in there fertilizer and what does it do it automatically reverts back to the tip side front automatically so that's smart um yeah so that works nice so even if you had it open and you filled it 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 just uh, defaults to the loading configuration and away you go and uh, yeah so it seems to work nice everything uh, it looks good it uh, works seems to work well and uh, just um, yeah there you go a nice little attachment for the uh, the Fent GTA 380 I will put a link to that mod it is a free mod from Giants and um, yeah there you go the Fent GTA platform by Creative Mesh on Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now